Hi guys, it's story time with Mrs. Knight. I miss my reading group so much, uh, so I thought I would take some books from my classroom and read them to you guys. Today we will read, Does It Fart? A Kid's Guide to the Gas Animals Past. This is a silly book about animals. Today we will read about a horse. This is a book about farts. That's right, farts, otherwise known as toots, rips, stinkers, butt burps. Farts probably make you laugh because a fart sound is funny and a fart smell is even funnier, at least to some people. But where do these sounds and smells come from? One answer is that when you eat and drink, you swallow little gulps of air along with food and liquid. This air eventually comes back out, usually as burps, but sometimes as farts. Another answer is that as your body breaks down the food you eat in a process called digestion, it creates gas, which starts to build up in your stomach and intestines and needs to escape. So your muscles push the gas out as a fart, the same way it pushes out poop. If you've heard of someone say the words, pass gas, this is what they're talking about. A third answer is that your body has super tiny creatures living inside it called bacteria. And when you eat a food that's hard to break down, the bacteria take care of it for you. They munch the food up and in the process make lots of gas, which you guessed it, comes out as farts. You've probably noticed that there are different types of farts, some smellier than others, some more frequent than others. It all depends on the food you eat, how healthy you are, and how much bacteria lives in your gut. For instance, if you eat vegetables like broccoli, beans, or peas, or if you eat dairy products like milk or yogurt, you'll probably find yourself farting up a storm. Plants and milk are made of materials that take a long time to break down in your body, and while the whole time they're breaking down, gas is building up. Some farts don't smell too much because they're mostly made up of an odorless molecule called carbon dioxide. But when you eat foods that have more sulfur in them, like meats, your farts will get seriously stinky. If you're sick or allergic to a food you eat, your body might make some really smelly farts too. And sometimes you just have more bacteria living in your insides than other people do. And the best way to get rid of all the gas those little eating machines create is to force it out through your backside, making you a fartosaurus. Are you laughing at how many times you've read the word fart already? Good. Farts are funny, and if you have a dog at home, you know that animal farts are super funny. Think about it. A whale fart is probably huge, right? What about a snake or a spider? Can an octopus fart? And if it can, what comes out? Do you think you can guess which animals fart and which don't? Let's find out. This is a horse. Does it fart? Yes, it takes horses a long time to digest all the plants they eat because plants are made of a substance called cellulose, which can be hard to break down. So horses' bodies have plenty of bacteria inside of them to help. Lots of plants plus lots of bacteria equals lots and lots of farts. Horses are one of the most frequent farters in the animal kingdom. Now is a good time for a silly writing prompt. Cows eat plants too. Do you think cows fart as much as horses do? Why or why not? You can even draw a silly picture too. I'm going to show you how I will start my sentence. I think that cows blank because blank. Thank you for letting me read to you. 
Let me know which animal you want to learn about next.